topic we don't like to face, the inevitable ageing of our brains as we get older. Brain research tells us that as we age, our brain shrinks and slows down. It's a sobering thought, but it happens to all of us. So to find ways to keep our brain healthy and strong, we're going to chat to a nutritional neuroscientist, Dr. Delia McCabe. Welcome Delia, great to have you on our program today. So tell us about the aging brain. Gary, there are measurable and subtle differences. So, you know, when we're young, our memory works really well and our processing speed is fast. But as we get older, we notice that's not the case anymore. You know, you can walk into a room and forget why you're there. Um, although you're never going to forget how to ride a bicycle, you can forget some information that you've gathered along the way. And some of our autobiographical information also falls away. So sometimes you forget exactly where the house was that you lived in when you were three years old. And those are normal ways for our brain to decline. Something else that happens, which is a really positive thing though, is that our verbal fluency increases. So we become better able to express ourselves. This is why philosophers were never young people. They were always wiser, older people. And the other thing that improves is some of our reasoning because we have now collected an enormous amount of information and skills and knowledge across a lifetime. And we can connect those in very novel ways where a young brain can't do that because it doesn't have that skills and that knowledge. So those are really positive things that we can think about. It's not all negative. And if we do, do certain things right, we can make sure that our brain functions really well into old age. What harms our brain as we get older? One of the things that harms our brain really directly is a poor diet. So highly refined foods, highly processed, lots of sugar, lots of damaged fats, the exact opposite of what we're being surrounded by here is what damages the brain because the brain runs on energy from the food that we provide. If that energy isn't stable, if that energy doesn't also come with specific vitamins and minerals, specific nutrients, the brain cannot function because the brain's function depends on its structure and that structure is very much dependent on what we eat and then it functions the way neurons speak to each other, neurotransmitters function because of the nutrients in the food. So as we get older we continue making energy in the brain as we do across a lifetime but our neurons become less efficient at doing that so what happens we produce more free radicals now free radicals are nasty little compounds because they steal electrons from healthy neurons so for example just as we're standing here berries are fantastic antioxidants they come along to a free radical and say hey guy you're not doing the right thing we're going to donate an electron to you so that you stop damaging the neurons that are healthy. And so that's a really very clear and direct way we can help our brains as we get older. Just eat lots of colorful, nutrient dense food, anti-inflammatory foods, for example, turmeric, that we find curcumin in turmeric with good fats, helps the brain to function really well. Flax seed, hemp seeds, chia seeds, all of these foods, great carbohydrates from sweet potatoes that are also colorful, We've got great broccoli, we've got fantastic citrus fruit, avocados, papaya. All of these foods support the brain through, across the lifetime, let's just be clear on that. But as we get older, it's as if we have to take more care of the brain because now those neurons need special and tender loving care. So avoid the highly processed, refined foods and plenty of superfoods from nature plant-based diet, that's what, we're, that's, that's what we need to be focusing on. Spot on, Gary. And you know, the challenge is as we get older, our gut also doesn't function as well. So it's important to speak to a practitioner and find out if there are any nutrient deficiencies, because we need to re rectify that if that's the case. But you know, we have to start with food. When we have the right kinds of food, like these superfoods, we have a lot of energy. Guess what happens when we have more energy? We can exercise more. Robust research shows how energy and exercising impacts the brain. We know, you know, people that get type two diabetes, these are people that eat highly refined foods, people that don't move a lot, they end up being much more at risk for things like Alzheimer's disease. In fact, 50% greater risk. So fantastic food for brain function and structure. Fantastic food for energy. This food provides us with the energy to go outside and move our bodies, which supports our brain. And the other wonderful benefit is we're not cranky as we get older because guess what? These kinds of food 
and exercise improves our mood. So now we're pleasant to be around as well and that improves our relationships which is really important as we get older. So there are a whole lot of things that we can do to make sure that our brain ages really well. You mentioned there are other things we can do to support our brain as it ages. Can you mention some of them for us? Well Gary, sleep. We have to sleep really well between seven and nine hours at night. A lot of older people believe that as we get older we need less sleep, but that's not true. We need the same amount of sleep and we need to focus on it being deep, mm -hmm. deep restorative sleep. The other thing we need to do, we really need to focus on not being dehydrated. There's a part of the brain that starts becoming less capable of picking up first in our body as we get older. So we need to make sure that we rehydrate ourselves regu regularly. The other thing we need to do is need to manage our stress. You know, stress is really damaging. Adrenaline and cortisol bathe our neurons and cause damage right there at the neuronal level. So we need to find a way to manage our stress so that we don't have that huge stress hormone bath for our neurons so that they can stay really healthy. So look, it's the food, it's the exercise, it's the relationships, it's the sleep, it's the water, and it's managing stress. All of those things, once we get a handle on them, guess what? healthy, happy brain into old age. Such wonderful information, Delia. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. If you would like to know more about caring for our brain, then I'd like to recommend the free gift we have for you today. It's the popular booklet, The Aging Brain and Secrets of a Healthy Lifestyle. Just go to our Incredible Journey website, tij.tv, or scan the QR code on the screen to request your free e-copy now.